My brothers and sisters, our French Canadian was dominated by British Canadian for a long time. It's time to overthrow their law. It's time to create a new government. I, I, I cannot stand the family compact anymore. They are devils. Oh, our life was becoming worse and worse, and I don't know what well they do next. Um, I heard that Lower Canada had already rebelled. I think we should emulate them and overthrow the government. December 1837, Upper Canada Rebellion had begun. While the Antill Rebellion of Upper Canada ended quickly with the Battle of Montgomery's Tavern, Mackenzie and many of the rebels fled to the United States. Finally, the rebellion was suppressed by government. But some people had begun to consider changing the government. We lost the war, and we cannot stay in Canada anymore. We shall move to the U.S. I will come back. After rebellion subsided, Britain decided to fate of Lord Durham's as consul. Instead of the original Sir Francis Bondhead, Lord Durham made Lord Durham's report it. It purposed the Lower Canada and Upper Canada to combine and establish a responsible government. In Lower Canada, the heart of the troubles was the conflict between French and English. From the first election in 1792, the French Canadians had held a majority in the elected legislative assembly. After the War of 1812, they began to try to gain increased political power in the government. They prevented the assembly from granting money for projects such as canals, which is what the English-speaking merchants wanted. However, the British governor still held real power. He gave most of the government jobs to the English. The Patriots were a more extreme group of French Canadian politicians. In Upper Canada, popular discontent centered around the government land policies, its attempts to encourage commercial and industrial development, and its favoritism toward the Church of England and its supporters. American-born immigrants also bitterly resented the fact that the government denied them their political rights. As the population and opposition to the government grew, a reform movement emerged under the leadership of Marshall Spring Bidwell and William Warren Baldwin together with his son, Robert. The reformers briefly gained a majority in the Assembly in 1828 and in 1834, but in 1836, they were defeated in an election. The most extreme reformers then turned to the radical William Lyon Mackenzie for leadership. Mackenzie was a crusading journalist with great enthusiasm but little judgment. During the 1920s, he had launched a fierce attack on a network of government officials whom he called the Family Compacts. 